Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to take a look at this new game that came out from Mixie. It is called Monster Strike Dream Company. Uh, and you'll hear it abbreviated as Mon Pani? Yeah, Mon Pani. So you got Monster Strike and then Company. So, <laughs> Mon Pani. And basically, this game has kind of like two gameplay elements into it. Um, the first is, of course, uh, you are the CEO of this brand new company and you are hiring all of these Monster Strike characters who have, uh, I guess, they're finished fighting and so they they all get jobs. Well, most of them get jobs. And, um, well, they're here to help you out, to make some money. And uh, what you do is you gotcha for them, of course. And the interesting thing is that while you see on the top, you see orbs and money. This game, your gacha currency is gold, not orbs. So, um, we're just gonna start off this video right off the bat with a gacha. Um, as you can see, uh, there is a rank associated with uh, your gacha, and basically, how this works is as you rack up these ranking points your pool gets bigger and bigger and you can see that here when you start the game this is locked so you can't really see it but um you'll start off at the b rank and then you'll see that okay here's your initial pool of monsters um and then once you get enough you get five points worth you go up to the beginner rank two and these five new monsters get added to the pool once you get 50 points, these five monsters get added to the pool. And that keeps going until you hit to the next rank, which is the future rank. And once you have 150 total points, then you get this batch of monsters added to your pool, which is great. You get another 20 uh, monsters added to the pool and uh, can get some more. Rank up to the second level of F, plus five, third level, and then you can go up to the D rank, which is Dream. And you can see Dream has five tiers into it. And again, once you hit the first uh, tier of uh, Dream monsters, you get all these monsters added, including this awesome one here, which I am hoping to get very soon. But of course, that's a while off. Um, and then same pattern. Once you rank up, you get another five, another five, another five, and another five here. So that is pretty awesome. Now, of course, with a smaller pool, you're always like, oh, I'm going to get dupes all the time. Is that okay? Well, dupes are actually not that bad because, well, let's just see it because I have almost everybody in this gacha, so almost everybody's going to be a dupe. But uh, it seems like there is a bit of a confirmation thing here. If that bubble speech bubble is spiky, you uh, almost certain. I think that's the uh, confirmed get of a rainbows level monster. And a rainbow is just what is featured in that um, in that gacha. So uh, this one, I think there are at least five of them in the featured level. But um, there's a the rates are pretty decent to get a high ranking monster. And if you see this go 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 mark, that uh, is basically saying it's a new monster, which Ryoma I actually did not have. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And I think it is the last one that I don't have in the current pool. Um, but as you can see, it's going to be dupes galore here, Corsair, got the rainbow background, another Ryoma, that's really awesome. And why dupes are awesome is because you can see on this screen here, um, you increase the level of your monsters. And that is the only way to increase the level of your monster, is by getting dupes of said monster. So you can see that, um, let's see, for example, uh, I think the top right monster Hmm? Right here. Um, that was Date Masamune, I think. Um, you can see he is already at level 3, and I'm already 1 out of 7 on my way to level 4. And, you know, the more of you. You need a lot of these monsters, right? So you're gonna be just throwing gold into this gacha to try and uh, get more copies of said monster. So, that it's an interesting concept. This is completely different from Monster Strike. You can. You can make it analogous to luck, I guess, but um, it, it's different. You get more skills at, in return by uh, getting dupes of said monsters, so we actually do want dupes, which is interesting. 
Anyways, that's the standard gacha. There's a special gacha going on right now. Um, when you start this game, you get 31 free tickets to pull on this star gacha here. As you can see, it features uh, three of the five angels. You got Uri, uh, Uriel, Raphael, and Mikhail. Uh, in addition, there's Bastet and Hunter King. That Both Hunter King and Bastet are very good monsters. You definitely want them. Uh, getting them all right now would be really great because, uh, again, with a smaller pool, there's a better chance of uh, getting dupes of a certain monster so uh, while they are picked up right now that's probably the best chance now once you get the dupes you can actually uh, increase the level of said monsters like I was saying so for example we got two Ryomas right away so you can spend some of this currency which is called SP you can see that also on the top of the screen um, it looks like you get a healthy amount of SP. Uh, there are ways to generate SP as well as coins. So uh, I don't think you have to worry about spending any of those uh, in being resource locked at least. So the easiest way to get coins and uh, SP is of course you can see in your company. Once you level up enough, uh, your team of uh, employees are basically making you those resources. You can tap them to collect them. And this is completely idle, it is happening behind the scenes, so you don't need to do anything active. Once you collect it, they'll start restocking again, and you can't, you'll have to wait at least five minutes before getting more uh, resources, but you can also wait until the maximum length. So if you want to click details, you can click uh, your line manager here, which happens to be Ryoma, and depending on the level of your floor, um, it dictates how much gold you generate every hour. In this case, I'm generating 120,000 gold, and what your uh, stock limit is, and it's 720,000 gold. So this means I can leave this game alone for six hours without wasting any production, right? Interesting. So you basically can check the details out here. I mean, I guess if you can't read Japanese, that's a little bit hard. But this yellow button here is how you upgrade the floor. Now, when you upgrade the floor, it does require a rank minimum. So as you can see, right now I'm at level 3, but before I can go to level 4, I need to be at least rank 19. And once I do hit rank 19, I'll be making uh, 156,000 gold per hour. And my final stockpile uh, in my, you know, in my floor is going to be uh, 140... Th um? 1 bill... 1 million... 400... 4 million? Uh, so probably nine hours, maybe, maybe. Um, but yeah, the more more you upgrade, the less you have to constantly check in to make sure you're not wasting. I mean, if you're not doing that, that's fine. It just means you're not making any gold until you tap it to collect your maximum threshold. Um, if you do have the ability to upgrade, there will be a red exclamation mark over uh, Ryoma's head click that and then you'll know right away because this is your home screen same thing happens with the SP Alice is your uh, line manager there and for this one you get 240 SP per hour and um, it stockpiles up to 1440 and same thing here you can upgrade it by uh, paying gold as well as making sure you satisfy the minimum rank requirement which in this case I need to be at least rank 23 before I get that boost in SP and last but not least we got some item generation so Gennai here he's our inventor and basically he is giving us the ability to get modifiers into the game so you could increase your attack HP well I'll just go over them in order so the first one increases your attack and you can increase that as well um, just a flat bon percentage bonus to your team likewise this is an HP bonus for your team uh, this one gives you a gold bonus at the end of the game, so you'll get that much more money. Uh, this uh, charm here will uh, reduce the amount of damage you take by 5%. I can pay more to get less. Uh, this one is an interesting one. This is if you die, you will get an automatic revival uh, with 10% of your HP revived. I can make it 20% if I pay 25,000 SP. That's a lot. I don't know if I'd want to do that right away, but again, it is, you are basically using this item beforehand, right? Before you start the game to say, just in case I die, 
I want to have one revive. So it's an interesting card. Uh, this last one here cuts down uh, poison damage, so it's kind of like the detox berry. So this one initially cuts 20%, you can upgrade it to 35. And always just, you know, click that yellow line or yellow button if you want to increase. For uh, this floor, it just unlocks more items for uh, Gen Knight to create for you. So, okay. And last but not least, before we go into the actual uh, board gameplay, uh, you can also send your uh, teammates to other friends' companies. And uh, to do that, basically, all you have to do is select a floor. You can. Uh, there are many different uh, environments you can select. Uh, you'll unlock more through missions or um, just you know making story progress. But after that, you can select three monsters that. Uh, appropriately fit that environment and that will adjust how much gold you will get um, I haven't really figured out a solid you know this will do that so you'll get the maximized gold here so I just see it a high enough number and I'm good with it but then they'll go to one of your friends uh, companies and then they'll be back in four hours and then you get some money sometimes it'll be uh, much higher than what you see here. Sometimes it'll be around this value. I don't think it's ever been lower though uh, But that's another source of money And last but not least uh, we got Oregon here. Uh, Oregon will basically be like uh, Hey, one of your friends is visiting and they'll be basically asking for a donation They're asking for that much gold and in return you'll get some SP if you do donate that gold So if I want to be nice and send 1.5 million gold out to this person, I would get 750 SP for that if I want to be really generous, I can send 7.5 million and I'll get 3,000 SP. Or you can be a stingy Grinch and be like, no, you're not getting anything. Get out of my company. And so that's usually what I end up doing because I, I don't see the benefit yet of having that much SP. As you can see, I have a lot left over. Um, you don't need that much to uh, enhance monster, right? It only was about 750 for the highest rarities. So. We'll see if it comes into play. It probably will eventually. Um, yeah. Also on the bottom floor is a present box. So if you get some uh, mission rewards or uh, you know some daily bonuses, you can grab them here. And this one here is your mission log. Um, basically, clear your missions, get some rewards, a lot of cool things associated with it. And uh, one thing that I want to make sure that you understand is that, let's see. I know I have a slide for that time here. Okay, so as part of the uh, you know launch celebration, um, I said you do start out with 31 gacha tickets for that star gacha. So run that right away. Make sure you get a strong, solid monster off the bat. It'll be great to kick it off while everybody's still in the starting mode. In addition, you have uh, additional bonuses where you'll get one Tsukuyomi per day for 15 days and 10 extra tickets Per day for a total of 50 days uh, up until October 1st so you know make sure you uh, yeah make sure you do that log in at the very least so that you can get a max out Tsukuyomi right getting a I think 15 is gonna be a max level uh, version of Tsukuyomi so uh, grabbing all that until it's done and making sure that you do it before uh, time runs out is very important in addition, there are some co-op rewards, so kind of like the, it's exactly like Monster Strike. So you play with somebody for the first time via co-op, you'll get some rewards. And uh, on the 1st, 5th, 10th, 15th, 20th, 25th, and 30th, you'll get a Gabby Gabrielle in your box uh, to celebrate for that. Um, do you note that they change, right? First one's only worth one, five through 25. On the multiples of fives, I'll give you two each. And if you hit the top 30, uh, you'll get Three gabs, so that's uh, what was it? 5, 10, 15, 20, so that's 10, 11, 14, and you do get one another way. So, again, this is a total of 15 gabs. Uh, 15 is probably the max level for the this rarity type of monster. For all other uh, count of uh, new players added, so second through fourth and sixth through ninth, you'll get five orbs for each. And uh, otherwise, all the way up to 100, you'll get one orb for that. So that's pretty generous of them as well. Again, it's the start of the game. You want to entice people to do that. 
And last but not least, there are some first friend bonuses. So if you are able to be a friend with somebody for the first time, then uh, you'll see a little mark. Uh, it'll look like a yellow and green arrow. Um, that's a first friend. And if you actually become their friend, you will get five orbs. For the first and nine people, tenth person, you'll get ten orbs. So I might as well shill my account right here. Uh, you are free to send any invites my way. And I will happily add you. 627-342-470-094 is my ID. Feel free to add me if you have not already. I'll be more than happy to join along with you. And possibly send some of my monsters to make some money off of your company. Uh, that would be great. Alright. And I think I'm going to cut off the video here. We will do a separate video for the actual gameplay. But, uh, you know... In a nutshell, let's see, is there anything else I want to go for? Well, okay, so let's just go through the top menu here. So like I said, gold is your main currency in this game. It is your currency to gotcha, not orbs, right? Uh, the SP on the middle, that is your uh, currency for upgrading things, whether it's your floors or your monsters. Those are the key element or uh, resource to do that. And now orbs is an interesting thing, right? Because normally orbs would be the one that you uh, use to do gotcha, right? But you are purchasing orbs with real life money, right? But you can't really do much with them. If you click the plus button near the gold, you can see that you are exchanging orbs for gold. That's an interesting thought. And um, one thing that they might, one reason why they may have done that because uh, this game tracks how much gold you generate uh, through events, missions, and all that stuff. And so orbs is an interesting separate way to make sure that okay, you are getting something that will turn into gold, but you didn't earn that gold, so it doesn't count towards your uh, progress for the month or for the year. Sorry. So um, that's why. The only other thing that I've seen where you can use orbs is to refresh your stamina here because as you can see, this game has an interesting stamina limit of three. <laughs> and I haven't seen it overflow yet, so you only get a maximum of three. In addition, it takes 20 minutes for one of those stamina points to refresh. So once you play three times on the actual game board, you're done for an hour. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. It's nice that it's a very casual game that I can just do it and forget about. But I don't usually like low stamina games because when I want to play, I want to play for a while. Um, last thing I want to go over is, of course, your rank uh, of your company. So as you may have seen, this rank actually only grows when you do the gacha. So as you get more monsters or dupe of the same monsters to upgrade them, uh, you're basically increasing the power of your company, right? More employees, more people to work, more skilled employees, the better the output, right? So as you constantly gotcha, get new monsters and upgrade old monsters, your rank is going up. And as your rank goes up, you get some more bonuses uh, in terms of, you know, more buildings, more floor, sorry, more floors, more upgrade opportunities, and just more money in general. And now this game keeps track of how much you earn for a year. And a year basically moves forward every time you run you know, events in the game. Uh, you'll go month by month. As you can see, the in-game month right now for me is April. When I do a run, it'll turn into May, June, July, all the way up until April again, uh, where the fiscal year ends, right? So it's not a calendar year. Welcome to business. Uh, the fiscal year for this game begins and ends in April, so you have April to April to make as much as you want. And it'll keep track of that for you, which is actually pretty awesome, right? So the first month, first year I played in the game, I made 33 million gold. Then I went into 38, 40, and then I jumped up to 60 million. It also keeps track of how many monsters, how many employees you had in your company at that time, right? That's a pretty cool progression. And based on your uh, results, you may get some extra rewards. This is saying 
if by next year I'm able to make 70 million gold, I will get a Belphegor. That's pretty awesome. So it's a pretty cool incentive program and if you can look at what's out there and it is pretty intense. Um, you got a Belphegor and then next up we've got Cinderella and then after that if you can make what? 100... Punch me. 80 million, I think that's 100 million, 120 million, 150 million, 200 million. You know, there's some more orb based results. And again, orbs convert into money, so that is always good. Also, free tickets. I like it. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, you know, on top of that, you've got all the missions that you can fulfill. Um, you know, logging in, playing enough battles. Uh, having enough different types of monsters, um, increasing your your team rank, and there's one last thing there, uh, that's not here because I actually finished it. When you start this game, there will be a, a red smider here, um, and that's basically a story mode. They have a really mini story mode where, again, if you complete the missions, you'll get rewards. Uh, pretty cute. Um, so yeah. That's it for part one of the Mon Pani video. Next one, we'll just go over the gameplay real quick. Go over some of the monsters, what uh, the monster box actually looks like, how to sort stuff in there. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know how you're enjoying the game. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. Um, it's a great, it's a great side game for sure. So until next time, bye bye.